Hey Paul, what's that plant? Well this plant, it's a type of euphorbia, it's a succulent from uh, South Africa and it's called, uh, the common name is Jackal's Food uh, or sometimes they call it a pencil milk bush. Uh, it looks kind of funky right now because I trimmed it back because it was growing into the, the walkway here and driveway pretty, pretty, it gets pretty big. Uh, a good thing about this plant is it's low water usage, it's really drought tolerant. It tolerates a frost, it might die back a little bit. Um, it's hardy I think to 18 degrees. It has a really interesting lime green color uh, to it. And uh, I think twice a year it blooms and beautiful nice yellow flowers. Uh, bees come into it and it, it's a, it attracts all the pollinators. And uh, you can easily cut this, let it dry out for a few days in the shade and, and tr plant it. So uh, we have several cuttings throughout the yard. We'll show you one that hasn't been trimmed so you can see uh, what it looks like in a more natural habitat. So Jackal's Food, awesome succulent. And here in a moment we're going to go ahead and show you uh, some of the dangers of this plant because it's extremely toxic. Uh, when you cut it, it has a milky kind of latex substance and it's a very intense skin irritant and it can uh, cause blindness. So uh, let's cut one and check it out. All right, so check this out. This is Jackal's Food. It's a euphorbia and most euphorbias will do this. And when you trim it, it's going to emit this latex and this is a really bad irritant. You definitely don't want to get it in your eyes or even on your skin. Uh, I'm wearing latex gloves and, and eye protection because of safety first. And you just don't want to get this on anything. Even if you touch something a few days later with it, it will irritate your skin. So be really careful. And if you want to propagate this, all you need to do is just let it sit in the shade for two days, dry out and stick it in the soil and as long as you don't overwater it it's going to take off probably in about six months excellent plant i really like it has it's leafless well i guess there's some tiny leaves right there but overall it's a pretty unique looking specimen plant from south africa so if you want to hear more about our awesome plants please subscribe and give us a like bam